Okay, so today I will be showing you guys how to install Visual Studio Code on a Chromebook. Um, as you can see, I've, I've got a Chromebook here, and I've already installed it, but I'll just walk you through the steps that I had to do. This Chromebook that I'm working on right now is a Chromebook Plus by Samsung. It's the first version. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is check what kind of CPU you're running. So if you've enabled Linux, you can pull up your terminal. I have pinned it to my taskbar, but if you come in here and search for terminal, it'll pull up your terminal. You're going to want to run the command lscpu, and it'll show you what kind of uh, CPU you have. Uh, this is an Arch 64 based CPU. Um, and then we're, we're going to see, we're just going to exit that. And we're going to come in here. Uh, there's a website called code.headmelted.com. I'll post that in the video description. And um, this is a pretty good walkthrough of how to get Visual Studio Code on Chromebooks and Raspberry Pis, ARM-based processors, and Intel systems. Um, so the easiest way to do it on Chrome OS is go to the releases page um, and then see if you've got your... Uh, if it's got the CPU that you have, like an AMD or an ARM base 64, which this one was. But when I first downloaded and downloaded this file and ran it, I came up with an error. So I figured there's, if this doesn't work for you through the releases page, um, if you've enabled Linux on your Chromebook, you should just be able to copy this uh, command, come into your terminal again, and then run that command and it will install Visual Studio Code on your machine. Um, since I've already installed it, either way it's just gonna exit out of the terminal, and then you come here to your launcher and you're gonna look up Code OSS. That is the program of Visual Studio Code. It'll take a little bit to boot up, but when you open it, it should open up Visual Studio Code and then it automatically launches. Uh, the first time you open up, it'll launch like a new Chrome tab explaining Visual Studio Code. Um, you can come in here, you can pull up a terminal. It's the same terminal that you have outside with this. Uh, it's just at the Penguin. And then you can uh, start doing any coding projects that you want on the fly. And this is really helpful because Chromebooks are generally light and they have great battery life and they're very portable and they're very cheap um, ways to get started with coding. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys have a great evening.